Now in question 7 part A, we're given this diagram of our parcel then on a rough inclined plane and a force of 45 newtons acting at 50 degrees to the plane. Now the first thing we've got to do is to mark on all the forces then acting on the parcel. Now I always hate having forces like this personally drawn on the diagram that come into the object like this. I much prefer to have them coming away out of the object. Okay, So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. I'll show you what I mean. We've got this 45 newtons acting on the parcel and I much prefer to take this out the other side and mark that on as 45 newtons. I just find that it makes the problem easier. And if this is acting at an angle of 50 degrees here, then this angle in here will also be 50 degrees. So what I'm going to do now is just remove this, okay, and so we've got this situation now, a force of 49 newtons pressing in on this parcel. Okay, now for the other forces, we've got the weight of the parcel, and we're told that the parcel has a mass of 4 kilograms, so the weight is going to act downwards, okay, so that's going to be 4 g newtons. There's going to be a contact force with the, of the parcel on the surface here, so that's going to give a contact force, which I'm going to call R newtons. Alright, and because the parcel is on the point of moving up the plane, okay, friction always opposes motion, so we're going to have friction acting down the plane. And because it's on the point of moving, it's reached its maximum value, okay, so that is always equal to mu times the contact force R. So I'm going to write that in that that frictional force is going to be mu R newtons. Also when I'm doing any work on inclined planes I always draw a line from there perpendicular to the plane and this angle in here will be the same as the angle that the plane makes with the horizontal. So that angle in there will be 30 degrees. So I feel now that I've got everything I need in my diagram to start working on the first part of the question, which is to find the normal contact force or the reaction, which I've called R newtons. And to do that, what I'm going to do is resolve then perpendicular to the plane. So I'm going to resolve out in that direction, taking away from the plane as being positive. So, the first force that I've got acting in that positive direction is going to be R. So we've got R. Mu R acts perpendicularly to this direction, so it has no effect in this direction here. Moving now on to the weight of the parcel, the 4G Newton force. Okay, the component of 4G that acts in this direction will be 4G cos 30 degrees. Cosine because it includes the angle to the direction that you're wanting to resolve to. So that would be minus 4G cosine 30 degrees. Now the 45 Newton force, okay, this acts or part of this force acts in this direction. It has two components, one in that direction and one in this direction. The component in this direction has no effect because it's at right angles to the direction that we want to resolve in. We're only interested in the component of this force acting down in this direction. Okay, And that component will be 45 and it, because there's no angle in here, um, we've got the 50 degrees here, then it becomes 45 sine 50 degrees. Okay, so that's minus 45 sine 50. 
That's the overall resultant force. The parcel's in equilibrium, so the resultant force will be equal to zero. Rearranging this equation gives R equal to 4G cos 30 plus 45 sin 50. Okay, and if you work that out on a calculator, what you'll get is R equals 68.420 and so on. And rounding that to say three significant figures, you get 68.4 newtons and don't forget the 3SF. Alright, so that's part A then. Now for part B, we've got to find the coefficient of friction. And to do that, what we're going to do is to resolve down the plane. Okay, taking down the plane as positive. And if I resolve down the plane, we've got all of mu r acting down the plane, so that's going to be mu r. And then 4g newtons, there's a component of 4g newtons that acts down the plane. Because this angle is not 30 degrees, okay, it's excluded if you like, okay, then this becomes a sine, 4g sine 30 acts down the plane, so that would be plus 4g sine 30. Okay. Then we have the 45 newtons, that has two components, one in that direction up the plane and one perpendicular to plane. We're not interested in this one, we're only interested in this component this time. And that contains the angle, so it would be 45 cos 50. And that is opposing this direction, so that would be minus 45 cos 50. The R has no effect because it's perpendicular to this direction. And the object's in equilibrium, so there is no resultant force, so this equals zero. Rearranging this, if we were to add 45 cos 50 to both sides, subtract 4g sine 30 from both sides, and finally divide by R, which is the 68.420 number, we would get mu. So doing that, mu would equal 45 cos 50 degrees minus the 4g sine 30 degrees and then divide through by r and as I say r is 68.420 and so on okay don't use any rounded up answers okay so always use the non-rounded values working this out you, on a calculator, you should get 0 0.1362 and so on. And giving this to three significant figures comes to 0 0.136 to 3SF. Okay? And that brings us to the end then of question 7.